Doom Season 2 has just begun and it's completely different to Season 1. In this season you have to complete missions to earn points that will determine your rank and how much you will earn after the season ends. Overall there are 180,000 IVs up for grab for the best players in the game which is equal to around 11 million dollars. In this video I will explain you step by step how you can earn as many points as possible quickly so you will be eligible for the airdrop. Also I will show you in which world and region you can farm resources the best and which route to take exactly in the world to farm those resources. For all of you all that don't know my channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also that notification bell so don't miss out on future update videos. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to know what we have to do exactly for the airdrop, let's head over to the Illuvadex website, create your own account or connect with a mutable passport. Then click on your profile in the top right corner and you will be able to see the missions to complete to earn points in Illuvium. Missions can take up to one hour to load for the first time. And once a mission is complete, allow up to 5 minutes for it to reflect on the dashboards. So keep that in mind that it can take a little while for all the stuff to appear in the dashboard. There are points to earn in Arena, Overworld and Zero. However, in this video I will show you the most efficient way how you can earn points for the airdrop, which is by crafting items in Overworld. So if you click on the milestone and then Overworld, you will see many missions. However, some of them can be quite tedious as for example, some Illuvias are hard to find. That is why in this video we concentrate on the easiest way to earn points which is to craft all suits in the game. If you are able to craft all possible suits in the game you will earn up to 300,000 points alone. Furthermore you will earn additional points for each milestone you complete on the way to get all suits. So in summary what we do is just to focus on crafting items in overworld. Next. I will explain you step by step what to do when starting the game. First of all, when you start the game the first time, you have to complete a tutorial first where you will learn how to move, capture illuvials and farm resources. After the tutorial, you will start in your home base, Sancta Mesa, where you will be able to forge items. So just use the teleporter to teleport to the forge. By interacting with the forge you will see armaments, equipments and ingots. These are the most important tasks for you as you need ingots to craft equipments and armaments like suits or weapons. By first starting the game the first thing you want to do is to upgrade your equipment so you can move faster and more efficient in the game. Therefore you need to first farm resources to be eligible to craft ingots to upgrade your equipment. Especially important is to upgrade your boots and your booster as they they will improve your movement speed. So let's go back into the overworld and let's farm some resources in the game. The best place to farm resources is in Abyssal Basin. At the beginning you start in tier 0. Every tier of the region has its own resources with the same tier level. So if you want to farm a tier 0 item, you have to farm resources in tier 0 of the region. If you want to farm resources for a tier 1 suit, you need to farm in tier 1 region and so on. So in Abyssal Basin, I found this route that is most efficient to craft in-game resources. There are many resources to craft if you take the same route that I show you in this video. Resources which you need for crafting items you will find by extracting those stones. Just extract every stone you see on your way. The best way to find these stones is by pressing Q on your keyboard which will scan your environment. Colored in orange are the alluvials or craftable items. So let's take this route and let's craft some items. Then when you go through the round and you are at the end of the round that I showed you, you just teleport back to the entry of the world by pressing M to see the map and teleport back to the entry. Then go back to your home base Sancto Mesa. In your home base you will be able to purify your items which means that you save them in your inventory. Then go back again to Abyssal Basin and start taking the same route over and over again until you have enough resources to craft the advanced and supreme equipment. Once you have crafted the better equipment you are able to move faster in the world. And here are some tips to move even faster with upgraded equipment. Just jump and press your boost button quickly. This will initiate a quick boost instead of just holding the boost button. Another option to move quickly in the game is to jump and then fly with a wingsuit. 
So you either jump and click the boost button or you use the wingsuit in combination with the jump button. So now you are ready to grind for resources and forge your suits in the game. Remember to fund the resources of the respective suit you want to craft in the right tier level of the region. So if you want to craft a higher tier suit, you also have to enter the same tier level in the region. To be able to enter the tier 1 level, for example, you need to pay fuel, which you can buy on the Illuvium fuel exchange. To be able to buy in-game currencies like fuel, you need to claim your testnet ethereum. Every 24 hours you will be able to claim new testnet ethereum, which you also see in your profile. As it is still on testnet, it is like pay money, so don't worry, you don't actually spend real money during the testnet period. Once you purchase the in-game currency fuel, you will also be able to access all the higher tier regions. With that being said, we are already at the end of the video. Now you know everything to be able to craft all in-game items and rank up the leaderboard. The airdrop is ending soon, so hurry, time is running. Also guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the game. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you until the next one, your Crypto Kid Guru. <laughs>
Ugh! <sighs> 